lovelies, my name is Emily and this is my channel Painful Hilarity. Today I'm doing a ginormous Lush haul and before you judge, just keep in mind that for Christmas and my birthday, my amazing brother and sister-in-law got me a huge gift certificate to Lush. So that is why this is so huge. If I didn't have this, I would probably have gotten maybe two things. <laughs> um, so thank you, thank you, thank you so much to them. Um, it's just such a treat for me and I'm so excited to try so many different things that I've just always looked at the catalog for. Uh, I do have my computer screen up behind here to kind of make sure I'm saying the right thing because I am new to most of these things other than Christmas presents I received. Um, I put them all in um, Ziploc baggies because they are quite potent um, for me because I am like super sensory uh, nose and um, but they're still so fragrant it's crazy but anyways that's why I'm going to be like opening a bunch of Ziploc baggies if you're wondering. But the first three things I got are the Butterballs. And these were my favorite things that I got for Christmas. My sister actually got me um, the Butter Bear or something like that. It was a Christmas edition of this. And the reason why I love it so much, it has a vanilla -y scent, which is my favorite scent. And then it is super moisturizing. I actually shaved my legs when I was in the, in the bath with this. Um, because it was just so moisturizing that I just lifted my legs up and just shaved them. It was crazy. So I actually got three of these because I know that I love these. I love the scent. I love the way it makes my skin feel. These are good. And these were less expensive to their $4.95. So they're on the lower end of prices for Lush products. Um, I'm not going to get into explaining Lush products and why they're amazing, but, um, yeah, go on the website and look and you will see why people spend as much money as they do and are obsessed as, obsessed as they are. Um, the next product is a Honey Bee. This smells really great. I was going back and forth between the Avo bath or something like that. It was like an avocado one, which I know my friend Jess likes. But I just really like the smell of this. It is, of course, honey scented. Um, it has a sweeter scent and um, it really does smell like honey. I have to say that it is like 500 pounds. Like, I want to break this into like 10 things. I think I'm going to do what one of my subscribers um, mentioned is kind of just dipping it in the water and then taking it out and putting it in a Tupperware container because I'm going to actually like see if it says how much it weighs. It doesn't say, but it is so heavy. Like, I cannot imagine using that one time. And that is $6.45 just for that. So, I have a hard time. Like, here in Florida, my bathtub is very small. And it, if it, like, gets to a certain height, it drains. And so, I'm like, I'm taking an $8 bath right now. And it was, like, okay with the gifts. Even with the gifts, I cut them in half and stuff. But now that, like, I well, it still was a gift, but it felt like I was spending my own money more. Um, then I kind of felt, I feel like I need to, like, cut them apart or something because that's an expensive, expensive bath. Um, the next thing I got is um, these things called bath melts. I don't know. Yes, I did put these. These are really cool too because I asked a lot a bunch of questions because I really was excited about um, the Lush products. I just smell the hair in it. Um, because they were kind of different colored uh, green, uh, greens, oranges, and I was asking them about it. And because they are handmade and made from items that are natural, they kind of vary in color. So. The bath melt is kind of like the moisturizing lotion part of these, and that's just what it is. So it's kind of nice to add in with another, because I kind of was a little bit disappointed with some of the other ones because I liked the way they smell or I liked the like colors that they did because I'm like a five-year-old in the bath, but I didn't like that they weren't moisturizing. So these little bad boys, you can just pop in with those and have that be moisturized, and they really smell 
mango-y. Um, some of the scents, they really just nail at Lush. Um, so, the next, uh, um, the mango ones are 625 They're very tiny and very expensive, but um, they're going to be very easy to cut up. I don't know if anybody else is into that, but I like getting multiple uses out of things. Wow, did I put like, hair on everything? Jeez Louise. Um, the next thing is these uh, melts, and I got these one of these from Leanne, um, the Snow Fairy or something like that, and I absolutely love them. They just literally start to melt with the heat. You can kind of see that my hand, oh, because of my computer, it looks kind of weird, but um, you can kind of see that my hands are kind of shiny because I just touched that, but it's such a cute little pattern. It's a little flower um, and you can just rub it anywhere you want and it just moisturizes you it's just really really nice I just like the texture the consistency I like everything about them so I knew I really liked it because I got a present of one and so I got this one and they are I don't know if I have them written uh, put down here no I don't so I don't know the cost of these um, I tried my best guys, but I got so many things that at one point I was just like, okay, gosh, I can't even like add any more stuff here on my computer. Um, okay, so the next thing that I got was this is, um, it's called mm, Melting Marshmallow Moments and it goes in the tub and it floats the whole time. So... The reason I got this, oh my gosh, <laughs> let me just have a moment with this. Oh, it smells so good. So one of the things I got, the Melt, it's Snow Fairy, it, they don't have that scent year round. But they do have very similar ones to it. And this is a very sweet candy um, smell and I absolutely am obsessed. Oh, that... Ugh, that and the vanilla, the butterball, I think, are like my favorite scents that they have. Oh, it smells so good. And I like that it floats because I probably can get like a little bit more use out of it. Oh, sorry, that these are seven ninety five. So you can see that these are starting to get like an eight dollar bath. Like I'm gonna cut that in half. I do have chronic pain, so baths are very important to me, and I get kind of like into them. So, um. I just wanted to show you how much essential oils and stuff these have. They come in these little packages and this one's actually like leaking through because it's just so full of it. This reminds me of Christmas because I, my, my sister Crystal got this for me for Christmas. And these are, so far I've been showing you bath bombs and bubble bars and stuff like that. And then the melts. Um, but this is an orange chocolate scent. I get way more orange, but this, it's the yuzu and cocoa. And what's cool about these that I like in particular is that you can twist this and put half of it in and, and save the other half. It makes it really easy to split them up. You can definitely smell the chocolate if you're like, if you know it's there, but I feel like it's more orange Julius kind of like orange smoothie creamsicle smelling. So I really, really like that. I think this would go really good with the mango melt. Mm. Okay, I'm like, this stuff makes me like seem like I'm on crack because it gets me so freaking excited. I am very sensitive about smells. Usually I can't do anything scented. Usually I can't even do, I usually get the kids bath, bubbles, like I can't do anything. And so it's really exciting to be able to have these products that I can actually use. Ooh, this is really soft. Okay, this one is the Creamy Candle Bubble Bar. And it has like little flower um, things in it. And this one, I don't know. This one smells so much like the Snow Fairy that I have a hard time believing it's not the same scent. But it kind of is that with like a soapy smell. But it smells so much like it. So I'm very curious. But there are like little things in it so I'm wondering I think this is moisturizing because this is kind of like lotion-y if you can see my finger um and that is 740 it was so funny because if you go in there 
they have um, bowls of water and they'll do demonstrations of a lot of their products which I think is really awesome um, but she did uh, I'll show you the one product that she did the demonstration of but I'd already pretty much had my heart set on that um, this next one is uh, another uh, melt and it's a strawberry cream scent I don't think I have this written down this was actually one of the more expensive ones, um, but it is rather large, so yeah. It has a very light strawberry scent. I wanted something that was kind of like a little bit more light, but didn't make my dog like want to eat me, <laughs> which is like what all these scents do to Bella. Um, okay. So I think I can tell the story now. So they were doing, I, I pretty much had my mindset, I get really dry. I have dry skin anyway, so I get super dry in the winter. And I wanted, I was looking at the ocean salt. I heard really good things about it for face and body scrub. I love to exfoliate my legs in the bath, etc. Um, so she was like, let me demo it on you. So she starts doing it on my arm. And I have very sensitive skin. Again, Why Lush are such amazing products. I have super sensitive skin. Like, I have to be so careful that something won't, like, make my face bright red. Um, and she's doing it. And she's like, how does that feel? Because so for most people, it's like a massage. And I was like, mm, not so good. Like, it just felt like she was using sandpaper and just, like, scrubbing my arm off. And so she kind of was like confused, but I'm not one to like complain. And it wasn't like, I mean, it wasn't like she was drawing blood or anything. And so when she washed it off, my, my whole arm <laughs> was bright red. And the poor girl was like, I'm so sorry. Like you have super sensitive skin. And I was like, it's, don't worry about it at all. Cause she really rubbed it for a long time. Cause she was talking about it and rubbing and rubbing. And I was just like, <gasps> good lord have her take this off of me but it really was like my skin was so soft and it was like I still can see the difference because I haven't used it on this one to exfoliate but it just made like a huge difference when I used it but um it's the ocean salt face and body scrub and it is this awesome aqua color which I'm like really into and excited for the smell is kind of irrelevant, but does, I like scents like this. It's kind of like a little bit like men's deodorant, but not too much. It's not too fragrant -y. Whoa, that's a lot softer than I thought it was going to be. Um, but yeah, you can just see the crystals of exfoliation in there. And so I'm really excited to use that on my face and on my body. It's also really cool because they have like who made them like on each one because it's such a like mom pa organization. Oh, I love the smell of it. Okay, the last two things I have are soaps. Or no, well, I don't know why I just said last two things. <laughs> it's not. These last two bars is what I meant. Um, this is porridge and I will try to open it so you can get a look. <laughs> at it but it's a soap and it's an exfoliating soap if I can open it and this one is six and oh well I don't know but the normal price for like I don't know how much it is it says on the website $6.95 I don't know how much I paid for oh this one was $8.74 because I got a bit bigger of a block um, let me see if I can show this to you to show you kind of what they could they cut them from these big pieces so you can get like an, a dollar amount if you want like a three dollar amount you can get just a tiny little piece um so it has these big type of um i don't know what it, what they are but they look like i don't know it actually is really cool to like be able to tell you guys that huh um these are this is also for sensitive skin too i just wanted to mention that but um, da -da. it has a, I don't know, it says it's supposed to have a caramel scent, but I don't really get that from it, but I, this is oatmeal in it, so I do really get more of an oatmeal scent from it, like, kind of reminds me of, like, a barn, but, like, not the, like, poopy part of the barn. Um, it's just very, like, earthy smelling, but... I like the idea of having an exfoliating 
soap. So, something that's reusable like that. Okay, the next thing I got is, um, okay, so the next couple things I got um, is a very interest to people that maybe have disabilities or have chronic pain, so things like that. Because um, a lot of times when I take a shower or a bath, I have to be sitting down. I can't stand for an entire shower. And so a lot of times I'll wash my hair, but I can't always get the shampoo out because um, I'm a long way from the where the water's coming out of. And with shampoos, you kind of like have to put it everywhere. So with these, this one is um, like soap. It's a shampoo bar. And this one really, really smells nice. It has a coconutty smell. And it just looks like this. I mean, there's not much to show, but um, oh, it smells so good. Yeah, it has a coconutty, earthy smell again. Um, and you just take it and you can either just suds it up a little bit and then use your hands and then that way I can kind of just work it into my scalp more um, and not necessarily the ends as much or if I have you know the time to do the ends and stuff or you can just take the bar of soap and rub it on your head which I'm so freaking excited for because that will literally like change my life um, these other products that they have this is the sea wick I think it's called something like that um, it doesn't necessarily have the most pleasant scent. Um, where is it? Because I just saw the other one that I got. Yeah, the Scenic, sorry. Um, actually it does really smell really good. Um, what is the scent? I'm a little bit allergic to this. This is $11.95, but you get like a hundred uses out of these little things or something like way less expensive it's just like a tropical fluorescent seaweed type thing this is making me a little sneezy but again this is the exact same thing it's like a hard bar and you can either use it on your head like i showed you with the other bar or, um, and it just takes a little bit of water and a little, and it really suds up and you can just use the tiniest amount. Like these will last me forever. Um, the other one I got is a lavender smell. I really, really wanted to get, um, ones that, um, were lavender, chamomile, kind of, um, you know the like soothing inducing sleep type things but for some reason most of them didn't agree well with my senses so this is pretty much the only one that i got um this is the shampoo one and of course it smells very very much like lavender but it was the least um floral and just more subtle scent of the lavender so i really really liked this one um let me just make sure that i okay i think i showed you everything the only thing we actually went there because we wanted to get the unicorn horn um i really wanted to get the prince charming uh blah, 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 shower gel but i didn't like the smell of it at all and i didn't like the glitter and the other products so it just kind of didn't work out but they have this in their um, Valentine's Day collection this was made by Victoria um, and it's called the kiss and it's a lip scrub and I actually had a really bad experience with a lip scrub and I used this once and it was freaking awesome it smells very much like candy and there's actually sprinkles in here it's really cute and really cool but um it tastes more like buttery you put it on and you scrub it on and then you lick it off um i kind of wiped and licked um <laughs> because it was very buttery tasting it was very unusual but that is everything that i got i am so sorry this was such a long video but i got so many things i hope you're having a pain-free stress-free day I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed this video and bye.